feeling hella girly today. I think I got ruffles on my shirt. I'm wearing some ring. What's up? It's your girl, Lon girl. It's your girl, girly London. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guy? No, I'm just gonna stop. Pull up, pull up, pull up on me. Pull up. What's up, 3% gang? It's London and Kush. And you're on London time. This is an artist that I really respect because um, I think something that's really important about rap and like at least the culture of it is storytelling and that's something that this artist does extremely well. He always is telling stories about where he came from, what's going on in his whole life and his situation and his mind and everything, everything like that and he just does a very good job of telling the stories that he tells through music. Plus he does it in a super melodic way which I love. Before we get into this video, instead of a promoted song, I'm going to promote my own music channel. So go subscribe, go turn the notifications on, notifications on, and all that stuff because things are coming and I'm really excited and I want you guys to all be there when it drops since I'm only going to be posting it, posting it on that channel. So just go do that. Cool, cool. A, a movie. Oh yeah, also, sorry. One second, we're gonna start. I don't have much talking to do. <laughs> Pauses two seconds in. That's me for you. This is a song that was on his debut. Debut? Debut. It's one of those words where you don't pronounce the T, right? Yeah. Um, album, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if he had an album before that. I'm not sure. All I know is that this album just came out recently and like two months ago, three months ago. I don't know. So I did hear the song, but I haven't heard it in a long time. So I'm it's gonna be like a re-listen, a re-listening situation. But I haven't seen the music video, obviously, since it just came out. So we're watching that now. I love how this comes in. It just sounds like it's gonna be emotional. Well. See what I mean by the storytelling right now? Like, and then how he says it, the melodic tone to it, he just puts so much more emotion into it, plus the beats that he picks, or I'm pretty sure he would pick them, or he would be like, oh, I like choose them, pick or choose, whatever. Ultimately, it's his decision, I'm assuming. That'd be weird if it wasn't. All of it coming together, plus the video so far, he just does storytelling very well. That The switch between those bars right there, but um, Chicago, we're not going to get into politics. But the United States and we have a problem, guys. If you're from the United States, we have a fucking problem. It's really crazy how nothing's being done and how much the NRA is like. Like, how does something that's such a big problem, just nothing happen? Literally nothing. It's like people literally only care about fucking money. And not actual people's lives and stuff. But like I said, we're not going to get into politics. This is going to get me in a different mood. And we're enjoying the song. We're listening to the storytelling. I'm going to continue. Ooh, how that beat just... Mm, that emphasized that emotion right there. I like that. Okay. Now I'm getting it. I mean, I kind of got it before, but I wanted to make sure I got him. Wasn't saying something stupid. How he's like basically looking. I don't know if this is supposed to be someone that he knows or it's just the life and stuff that people around him go through people in his hood, people where he grew up go through, and he's just like watching it from the, you know, obviously, they don't know he's there, he's not. I don't have to explain myself on this, but I like this. It's kind of like the ghost talking about everything that's happening. Not the ghost, but you guys get what I'm freaking saying. I'm gonna stop. Shout out Germany. 
Hello, wie geht's dir, my German viewers? If you're out there. If you're out there, comment down below. I just wanna, I wanna see if you actually watch this part and if you are from Germany watching a non-German reaction of mine, comment a moon below. Polk, Sikia, something shots from... Yo, the more I listen to this chorus, like, I don't know why I didn't download this song. Because I usually go through, listen to the album, and then download the songs that I like, and I don't think that I downloaded this song. This, like, this is really good. I must have been doing something else and not fully paying attention. Because this chorus right now is just so nice and beautiful how it comes together. Like, he really does have a beautiful voice. I really like the melody on it. How that came in with the piano right there. Lock. Who? Oh, they did the other one with Pillow Do they just do like all of Pillow videos? What else do they do? I feel like I've seen them in other things and I just can't remember. I don't know if it was Young Boy or... One thing that I do have a question about is, was that supposed to be someone that he was singing about in the song or was that just like an everyday... I know that it's an everyday occurrence that happens, something like this, but um, I know that he was on the, the outer view, like he was basically not really there. But I'm wondering if it's a story about someone that's actually close to him or if he's just talking about, in general, people around him. Things that people around him are going through on a day-to-day -day basis. Sorry if that's a stupid question and you guys are like, how did you not get this? Obviously. But let me know either way if you feel like letting me know in the comments below. I'm a challenge and I know that I've been damaged and I know that never try to hide it. Demons inside of me. Never try to fight them. You'll see it if you lie to me. A lot of crazy eyes. But you'll never see me cry. Crazy mind. Bringing out the demon inside, crazy lies. Bringing out the demon inside.